Hey guys, we are back again with another episode of Off, part 10, I think we are on at the moment, and we have just helped out the judge, well, the judge has joined our party. It seems that the residential area has been attacked, I won't dare ever go there again. Seems a little harsh to forego your housing because of a single attack, but these are odd folk, can't really judge them too much for their erratic actions. We are going up, the judge is within our party. They don't think he's going to fight with us, but he is with us. Both in spirit and in mind. Up, up, up we go. He had done everything for them, like the most benevolent of the guardians, he had given them peace, security, and several means of having fun, which was the greatness of his generosity. And if you look at the page numbers, they were a little off. They're actually the clue. Uh, for a while, we were all was well, and everyone enjoyed the land that had been created for them, with the most childless innocence. They were running through. A little quick, but the um, the two numbers on the bottom they're the code for an upcoming puzzle. And drawing from his last of his wanting forces, he created a library more beautiful than it had ever been before. And as the height pierced the clouds in the smoky sky, he took his place. And we got specters. And it's dead. Hmm. Continue to force our way through the library. As for the firebird, he wept on his lonesome throne, saddened by the Oblivion in which his subjects had made him fall. They now had time for naught. I think the Guardian of Zone 2 may have been like a Padme. He may just be awful sad. But the dynamics of this world soon escalated into madness. They started to forget their joys, descending into a spiral of fear and mindless worries. They had. Hmm. And so the firebird became the cat, and the cat became a tyrant, led by his wrath and sadness. He let forth a gentle gale of ominous spirits rain upon his subjects. His madness blinded him from... Hmm. Why did him from? So you can't actually turn the pages, which is, I guess, to be expected because they're part of a puzzle, but. And as the specters were destroying the world for him that he had himself created, he sought refuge at the summit of his most wonderful creation, the Great Library of Bismuth. Bismarck. Gotta make sure there's nothing around. Gotta be careful with these things. Ah, uh, that's a whale. Um, yeah, it's a whale. Marine mammal of the order Ceredidae. Why is it up here? Why is there a whale on top of the? greatest library in Bismarck. He was very nonchalant about running into that thing. 
So this is the, um, there remained naught but the awaited purifier, the man who would rise up to destroy him. For at the bottom of his soul, he knew what he had done was evil. The end. Huh. Is he waiting for us? We are a purifier. So the puzzle is based off the little book sections we read up the way. I'm taking a moment here to verify what they were. We got four. Nine, seven, one, six, four, zero. And our door is open. Let's see where we're going. No more stories. These are all fake. Hey, it's Zachariah and a save point. Two things that I love to see together. Nice view from up here, don't you think? It almost makes you forget that I'm only a video, that this is only a video game. You okay there, Zachariah? The fourth wall breaks with you are kind of heavy. It makes me worry about you. But you do have some cool new things that I want to buy and equip. This battle that we're going to face may be more difficult than our fight with Dayton, so having the most up-to-date equipment might help us through. Although not everybody gets updated equipment. We can't spend all our money. Our defensive equipment is the color of sadness. Hmm. Because Dayton is sad. Dayton was wrath. And I guess Jaffet is sadness? I wonder if they do are supposed to correlate to their respective um, lords or guardians. Valerie. Valerie. That is the name of the cat. Are you mistaking me for someone else? I am Jaffet, the Firebird, Guardian of Zone 2. Oh, cease your paranoid frenzy, dear brother, and come back with me to Zone 0. I have made a little cellar where we will forget these sad moments. I am not your brother. I do not even belong to the race of carnivores. Look upon my true fate, you poor, foul-smelling cat. Valerie? You will not understand, I am not Valerie, but Joffet. I have taken control of your pathetic brother, unable to even chew through a bird to the end. Whatever. Joffet, I am here to purify you, you who would claim to control the specters. I was waiting, Batter. I will not surrender without a fight. Valerie. Purification in progress. You must understand those fools. They only worry about their own pathetic hassles. I did everything for them. They are like my own countless sons. Sometimes it is necessary to punish disrespectful children. Gotta give them the ones over. Jaffet, the guardian of zone 2. Unknown HP, unknown CP. And now we swing. We swing away until Jaffet is gone.
The one attack that Omega has, it's uh, optimized blur. I like it. I am not a god. I cannot be perfect. Yes, I have sinned. I recognize that. But the task is not of a mortal. Uh, I think Valerie might be in bad state. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to kill Valerie. Or if Valerie's already dead. Still Jaffet. Coveted string. It's a really powerful attack. Very well, Purifier. Such is my destiny. I then am ready to die. But first, prepare yourself to see my true form. I am Jaffet, Lord of the Second Zone. I am the Millennial Firebird. Now, let us fight. How did that fit inside the cat? I'm a little worried about the logistics here. Do the judge and his brother have, like, Time Lord TARDIS stomachs? Poor Valerie. Although, eating a Floor Guardian whole probably doesn't seem like the smartest plan. But to be fair to him, we're also going around attacking floor guardians. It's not as though we have the moral high ground to complain about his choice of actions. But we will defeat Jaffet. We will avenge Valerie. By beating him. We're beating what's left of him. For me, it's such an... Benevolent floor guardian he does have a creepy ability to him, doesn't he? It's like the body snatchers all over again. But the millennial firebird, if he really is a phoenix, he might be able to come back. But that won't matter to us in the batter, but we can handle him. We defeated many foes, and we'll defeat many foes more. We will be able to stop him. And purify this zone. After that, if we have a little bit of time left, we'll go look at some of the other zones. Because the judge mentioned that he built a cellar in zone zero. I'd like to see that if I can. We can also check on zone one. See if anything's different there. <sighs> After all, we do want to take our time with this. We don't want to miss anything. And Jaffet is just sponging up these attacks. Our health is getting dangerously low, too. But, oh, I did not realize that Omega hit 1 HP during this fight. Oh god. Point out for Omega because he was our all-star here. He didn't do anything useful, but his roulette attack was fun. So you have beaten me. You can be proud you have accomplished your mission better. Valerie, you are defeated, Jaffet, guardian of the second zone. This land is now pure. Wow. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. Uh, block 13. We're at the red child again. Huh? 
the the bird. He left too. Yes, he did leave. He went on a permanent vacation to a farm up north. These things have to happen. Here we are at Zone Zero now. Sometimes I ramble and I forget that I'm actually still playing the game. No basement there. Zachariah's around. That's cool. Nothing there. <laughs> Why, yes. I'm here as well. On the other hand, it's been a while since I've seen Pablo around here. Pablo's the other name for the judge. So we're just going to stroll around and see if we can find this basement. Which I'd like to find. Sounds like a cool addition to the zone, but... Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. At least not yet. So we go back to the nothingness. That's where we're going to go. Yes. And we'll go check out Zone 1, maybe. This is different. No clue where our train station is. The trains are gone. We can go this way now, too. An inspiration has been picked up. I don't know where we found it, but... I mean, I know physically where we found it, but finding inspiration... Ooh, what is that? I'm bad at talking over things. Secretary, number one. Diabolical humanoid spirit. 800 HP, 0 CP. Hmm. It's just a weird thing we have to beat up. Although I feel kind of bad beating up something called a secretary. Seems a little messed up, but that thing was no secretary. We know that. We go across the rails, looking at the dingy gray background, trying to figure out how much living standards have improved in this zone since our uh, since our purification. Judging from the surroundings, I'm saying that we probably didn't improve too much in the way of living conditions. I haven't seen another living soul, so I could imagine that there just may not be many improvements here. Hmm. Another secretary. Another secretary. Game has some really creepy enemies to it. Huh. We are approaching our time limit for the episode, so I think I'm probably gonna head on out of Zone 1 again. Because while this is very interesting and mildly unsettling, I don't think it's something I can handle at the moment. Secretaries do seem to have a little bit more HP than the common enemies we've been facing up to this point. And I don't want to go too far into the zone because I don't know if I can return to the nothingness from the standard save points. I think you need an orange save point to return to the nothingness. So we're going to make our way out of Damon, back down the road. And then hopefully, 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 we will uh, make it to zone two, zone one, zone one, no, zone three. Check out zone, well, we won't check it out. We'll make it to zone three in this episode. And 
now that we're here, we will save and we will call this an episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.